Scintillating scotoma, also called visual migraine, is the most common visual aura preceding migraine and was first described by 19th century physician Hubert Airy, 1838-1903. It may precede a migraine headache, but can also occur acephalgically, without headache. It is often confused with ocular migraine, which originates in the eyeball or socket. Signs and Symptoms Many variations occur, but scintillating scotoma usually begins as a spot of flickering light near or in the center of the visual field, which prevents vision within the scotoma area. The affected area flickers but is not dark. It then gradually expands outward from the initial spot. Vision remains normal beyond the borders of the expanding scotoma, S, with objects melting into the scotoma area background similarly to the physiological blind spot, which means that objects may be seen better by not looking directly at them in the early stages when the spot is in or near the center. The scotoma area may expand to completely occupy one half of the visual area, or it may also be bilateral. It may occur as an isolated symptom without headache and acephalgic migraine. As the scotoma area expands, some people perceive only a bright flickering area that obstructs normal vision, while others describe seeing various patterns. Some describe seeing one or more shimmering arcs of white or colored flashing lights. An arc of light may gradually enlarge, become more obvious, and may take the form of a definite zigzag pattern, sometimes called a fortification spectrum, i.e. tychopsia, from Greek tau epsilon chi omicron, town wall because of its resemblance to the fortifications of a castle or fort seen from above. It also can resemble the dazzle camouflage patterns used on ships in World War I. Others describe patterns within the arc as resembling Widmanstead and patterns. The visual anomaly results from abnormal functioning of portions of the occipital cortex at the back of the brain, not in the eyes nor any component thereof, such as the retinas. This is a different disease from retinal migraine which is monocular, only one eye. It may be difficult to read and dangerous to drive a vehicle while the scotoma is present. Normal central vision may return several minutes before the scotoma disappears from peripheral vision. Sufferers can keep a diary of dates on which the episodes occur to show to their physician, plus a small sketch of the anomaly, which may vary between episodes. Causes Scintillating scotomas are most commonly caused by cortical spreading depression, a pattern of changes in the behavior of nerves in the brain during a migraine. Migraines, in turn, may be caused by genetic influences and hormones. People with migraines often self-report triggers for migraines involving stress and a wide variety of foods. While monosodium glutamate, message, is frequently reported as a dietary trigger, some scientific studies do not support this claim. The Framingham Heart Study, published in 1998, surveyed 5,070 people between ages 30-62 and found that scintillating scotomas without other symptoms occurred in 1.23% of the group. The study did not find a link between late-life onset scintillating scotoma and stroke. Prognosis Symptoms typically appear gradually over 5 to 20 minutes and generally last fewer than 60 minutes, leading to the headache in classic migraine with aura, or resolving without consequence in acephalgic migraine. Many migraine sufferers change from scintillating scotoma as a prodrome to migraine to scintillating scotoma without migraine. Typically the scotoma resolves spontaneously within the stated time frame, leaving no subsequent symptoms though some report fatigue, nausea, and dizziness as sequelae. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.